In the case of one-year-old Elijah Cameron, last year, I remember this, in one of the most memorable stories of the season, we met an 18-year-old woman named Madison who wanted to prove to a man named Jaquan that he was the father of her son, Elijah. Now, what made the story really so compelling to me was that Madison's own father, William, came on the show to give Jaquan a poignant lecture about being a good, responsible dad. Watch. Why are you sure he's the father? Sorry! Your father, who's the grandfather, has to be the father of this child. Now. Right, he's bought me diapers and wipes because I can't work. He says he didn't even know you were pregnant until you were five months pregnant. You That's true. That? That's your baby, the nose, the head, the big ass forehead. <laughs> You look white. He don't look white. How about that timeline she made? Do you remember she that? She could be day? making that up. I sat there forever scrolling through our messages just to get that date. Do you have a dad active in your life, brother? Not really. That little boy, he needs one. I trust her explicitly, bro. If she says what she says, then either you're the father or we got another story about a vacuum conception. In the case of nine-month-old Elijah, Jaquan, you are not. Wow. Really? No. There's no possibility for that to be in nobody else's baby. So Jaquan was not the father. And that's why Madison is joining us again today from Port Ritchie, Florida. Because after some deep reflection, Madison now believes a man named Cameron is baby Elijah's dad. So we've given Cameron a paternity test. We're going to reveal the results a little later on. But first, Madison, how does it feel to, to have to go through what you went through on the show? It's, it's crazy to think about it. I mean, it was a, long, it was a while ago, so I am kind of, like, got over it a bit now. But it is still crazy to me. You think your father's gotten over it? No, I don't think my dad got over it yet. I think he's still mad at me about it. But he's still in Elijah's life, right? Yeah, he's still in Elijah's life. I just don't... I don't talk to him every single day because he lives far from me. Right. But he still is in my son's life. So Jaquan was proven not to be the father. So we have to go back to find out what was going on in your life around the time you got pregnant with Elijah. Well, my grandpa died about, like, a month before I got pregnant. And after he died, I was partying a lot. And it's just... I was going through a hard time. I wasn't acting myself. So when did you realize that Cameron might be a possibility? One of his friends sent me a picture of his son and said that my son looked like his son. Did you tell him that Elijah could be his by then or not? No, because we somebody sent me the pictures after we reconnected. Okay. Because they found out, like, oh, you talked to him again. Like, did you know that, like, your kids look alike? And so, I was like, I never thought about it like that. You got, I obviously, you had to get back into connection with uh, Cameron. What was his reaction? He seemed shocked, but he also seemed like, like he didn't... He doesn't believe that, they, that my son is his. You should have told me I was possible. We lost contact, so how do you want me to tell you if we lost contact? How do you expect? I wrote you on Facebook. No reply. You can't write me on the right Facebook then, because I have more than one Facebook, and you clearly wrote my wrong Facebook. Obviously, you gave me the wrong I Facebook haven't talked to, to you. you it's not my fault. You're the one who moved out of state, and you didn't want to contact me, so how is that my fault? Like I said, I tried to contact you on Facebook to let you know what was going on. Okay, well, obviously, I never got that message, so I don't know what to tell you, Cameron. Did Elijah and Cameron ever meet? Yeah, they have met. He sees them every day. Really? So he's gotten into his he life. He is. He's in his life, yeah. Even before he knows whether he's the father. Yeah, he's in his life right now. Let me ask you about that, Cameron. Why, why did you yes. make that... Why did you make that jump? Well, um, I was raised by a stepfather myself. I lost my dad when I was two. So I know how it is to have... for a child to have a father figure in their life. If you're in that little boy's life right now, are you two together? Yes, um, we are currently trying to rekindle things and make things work. Why are you upset with him, Madison, if, if he's now in the life of your son? Why are you upset? Well, it's just his family is telling him that my son doesn't look like his son or that his, it's not his son. And it's just, it's not, it bothers me, but it, it's just like irritating to me because like they don't know and they weren't there, so it's like they, they're talking about stuff that they don't know anything about. Yeah, but still, I mean, it may be irritating, and yeah, they might not be there, but, I mean, there's still contradictions. There's contradictions that he looks like You're my right. son, he there doesn't is. look like You're my right. son. 
he looks like me and not my son, but... Well, let's, but... Take, a, let's take a look at Elijah, all right? And, and let's take a look at Cameron. You think they look alike? I think that my son looks like his son. I think that they have... His son and my son have a lot of the same features to me. They have, like, the same nose. They have the same type of hair. They have the same eyes. My son has Cam's eyebrows and his lips. Your father, Madison, spoke to my producers, and he gave us this statement. He said, Madison, what are you doing? Why would you do this again? You are probably going to find out Cameron's not the father and looks stupid again. So if I look stupid, then I look stupid, and it's none of his business. I think that my dad should mind his own business because I'm grown, and if that's what happens, then that's what happens, and it's none of his business. It's my business and Cameron's business. But he's Sorry, in he Elijah's so life, isn't he? He is. He's his grandfather. Yeah, he's in his life. But still, what I do in my life is none of his business in my, my personal opinion. I, I don't really care what he has to say, and he could be mad all he wants. I feel like he should feel grateful that she is taking the steps still at the end of the day. That's another view. I can understand that. Cameron, you've got to answer this for me. Most people, maybe me, most people would say, let's find the results of the DNA test before I get close to this child. At the end of the day, I still have, I have feelings for Madison. Um, I love kids, and being in the child's life is important to me. So at the end of the day, if Elijah isn't mine, you know, I still have to accept him because he comes with his mother. Wow. So you, you would be the father figure in his life even if you're not proven to be the biological father? Correct. Like I said, I was raised by a stepfather. I understand that. So you can understand how, how it could be that a person right. who is not blood can be fatherly to you. Right, correct. By the way, how'd you meet him in the first time? How was that? Tell me about that. We met through a mutual friend. Mutual friend. Uh, hung out a couple times. And after that, hooked up. Uh, exchange social media, but like I said, um, I ended up having to deal with a personal situation, so I tried to reach out and let her know what was going on, but you didn't reach out I was to me. left you, saying that you reached out to me, but you never did. Like I said, I reached out to the pro to the Facebook right. profile that you gave me. I was clueless and unaware that, that you had several Cameron, multiple Facebook pages. Cameron, when the first time you saw Elijah, did you feel a connection? Yeah, I mean, I, I did, I did, you know, just uh, seeing how he reacted to me, uh, you know, and then later on, um, after my sister brought, brought it up to me about the resemblance between him and my, my eldest son, uh, I, I pulled out a couple pictures and then I started comparing them, so I'm like, okay, all right, he, he, this one could, he, he could be mine, he, he could be mine, it's something that I need to find out. But at the same time, you also believe you're not, probably not the only possibility. Right. At the, yes, exactly. Because, I mean, like, first off, I, I was unaware about the whole situation. I was unaware about the first time of her coming on the show until, no, you, you know, you were we started. very aware. You okay. were very aware that I came on here. I never lied to you about coming on here. I told you that I was on here before, so you sit here and try to act like I never tell you, but I did tell you. No, but no, but you didn't tell him before you came on. Uh, no, because I, I wasn't I had no contact with right. him. I had no contact with Cameron for over right. a year. Okay. So I don't know how he expected me to tell him when we had no contact whatsoever. Okay, we have the result. In the case of one-year-old Elijah Cameron, you are not the father. I told you I made these mistakes and I can't do anything but try to change now. I made these mistakes when I was young and I was dumb, and I can't change it. I can't go back and change anything that I did. All I can do now is fix the mistakes that I made in the past. That's all I can do now. Well, that's a healthy attitude. And I'm sorry, Cameron, but we both knew the possibilities when we were coming on here. I was just confident for this one. I know it's a stretch, Cameron. I know it's a stretch. But if you have a connection to that child, <laughs> that child's better off for it. Yeah, I'm a... Uh... Uh, so I'm going to continue to do what I can, you know, to, to be that father figure and to work things out with Madison and, you know, for us to have a long-lasting relationship. It just hurts to know that, you know, he, he doesn't carry my, uh, carry my bloodline and, you know, it, it, it hurts all around the board, but I'm okay. going to still, still do what I need to do. Okay. Let me give you a suggestion. You just keep thinking about your stepfather. You are not the father. <laughs>